I've been experimenting with a technique that many teachers have talked about including Neville. Ever since I started implementing it, quite a lot of interesting things have happened that I can't share all of them in just one post. So, I thought I'll just share only the ones that people might be interested in. Don't want to make this too long. The technique, if all your desires are now a reality. What is the single feeling you'd feel? Capture that single feeling before you go to bed and fall asleep in that feeling. No specific scenes. No resistance or doubts. My SP came back. This is one of the biggest thing that happened. But it's also something that I was hesitant to share because it's personal. I knew about the law for years before I came across Neville but didn't really get it. About a year ago, my SP and I were going through a very rough time. She fought with me every day. And then one fine day, she texted I'm sorry, it's better we end it. She didn't tell me why or give me any sort of closure. She just left. I was heartbroken and it was out of pure desperation of getting her back that led me to start digging into the law again. That's when I found Neville's teachings. The more I read, the more I understood. Especially about states of mind and assumptions. During this time period I tried to imagine specific scenes a few times but there was so much opposing thoughts and doubts. I just couldn't. So I stopped trying. Probably the only thing I did was a mental diet. Vainly repeating something like, she loves me more than anyone else on this planet. My mood fluctuated like crazy during this time and all I did was just read. Months went by and then, I got to know why she left. She had betrayed me. It hurt me initially but something hit me. Why was this feeling familiar? Why did I expect it? That's when I understood what Neville meant by states. I recollected how I was in the relationship before. I was always afraid that she'd leave me. Fearful that I'd lose her. I was clingy and needy. I asked myself why was I like that? The answer was simple. My low self-image. Because of a painful tragedy that happened in my past, I believed that I'm not good enough and that I'd probably never find anyone else other than her. That was my state. Meaning, I had lost her in my mind months before I actually lost her in reality. My outer world reflected perfectly with my inner world. It all made sense. The state of our mind and how we see ourselves determine our experiences. I learned this the hard way. Then, with this understanding, I took complete responsibility for what had happened and I let it go. No specific scenes, no mental diet, nothing. I stopped giving it attention. That's around the time I started this technique. I just felt blessed on most nights before I went to sleep. Months later, one fine day, out of nowhere, she came back saying I miss you. She told me everything. She cried a lot and she apologized. She said she realized that she was still in love with me and that nobody can ever replace me in her life. She even said she'd never love any other man the way she loves me. Well, for someone who said I really want to run away from you as far as possible, the words that were coming out of her mouth now was completely opposite to what she said months ago. Normally, I would have felt ecstatic, overwhelming with emotions. But this time, it felt different. I didn't feel desperate or any extreme happiness. I was calm and in control. That's when I realized I had changed my state. Now, this is where my SP success story differs from the rest. I did not go ahead with it. I didn't accept her. Why? Is it because she had betrayed me? No, I forgave her. Like I said before, I take full responsibility for that because I created it in my experience. So, I'm the only one to be blamed. So, why else did I not accept her? It's because my obsession of getting her back stemmed from the state of lack. From the fear that I'd never find anyone else. I was no longer in that state. It was a new me. That is why I didn't. We are still close friends. We still talk every day. And to be honest, it's evident that she's still in love with me. I started reading Neville to get my SP back. But instead, I got myself back. It gave me confidence, power, peace of mind. And most of all I see infinite possibilities now. I'm no expert. I'm still learning. But my understanding of the law has deepened. And I'm not manifesting money. Or a new relationship or things like that now. All I'm doing is improving my self-image. My state. Everything follows your state. Master your self-image and you'll get everything effortlessly. Thank you for your patience. I know this was a long post. I hope this helps someone.